Hi, I'm Kristen and I'm with Kaysco Arts. And today we will be working on this 10 by 20 canvas. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys have also been paying attention to my other videos. Remember I said it was gonna be a secret message. Are you guys paying attention? There are two secret messages inside of my videos. All you need is four of them, which means that you need another two in order to be uh, entered into the contest to be able to win a free painting from none other than Kaysco Arts. Let's go ahead and get started. We are doing something new today. So I hope you guys are ready. I would like for you guys to join me and pay attention as we go on another acrylic pouring adventure. So again, we have our 10 by 20 canvas right here. It is pretty long. <laughs> as you guys can see, I have balloons over here. I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna do a balloon dip, uh, which I have never done on my channel before. That does not mean that I haven't done one before. But I have not done one on my channel before. But not only that, I wanted to try out a new method of being able to create flowers. Remember, you guys said you wanna abstract mix with the acrylic pouring to be able to show you guys that you can go beyond the limits. You do not have to limit yourself just the using a blow dryer to blow out or a straw or just your mouth or you know tilting the canvas you can explore and find out many different things to do with acrylic pouring so I have my colors picked out our base color for today will be white so I have my own acrylic pouring mixture which is available on my website at caseco-arts.com this is a new a mixture that I'm trying out. We're gonna see and explore together exactly how this is gonna turn out using a different combination of different things to be able to thin out the paint. So let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully this is enough. If it is not, I have some more inside of this cup. So let's go ahead and pour this on the canvas. So, that may be enough, but just in case, because you guys know sometimes I don't trust myself. <laughs> sometimes I end up having more than I need, and sometimes I don't have enough. But we're not gonna go through that today. We're not gonna test it out today. So I have my colors right here. I would just be working with three colors. Well, technically four, because our base color is white. And you guys know, I usually don't stick with a small color palette. I usually go above and beyond, but again, I wanted to try out a new method in order to create some flowers, so that is what we're going to do. I'm gonna go ahead, take my trusty blow dryer, flower blow dryer, blow out the base paint, and we will start. Okay, so I have the base paint blown out. Now I'm going to take my fingers. Yes, this is <laughs> this is a really, really thick consistency, which I'm not used to using, but I'm gonna go with it and we're gonna see how this turns out. I do like the coverage that it gives though. So that's one aspect of it. Okay. So I have my base paint on here. Now let me go ahead and begin with my other colors. So what I am going to do different today is I usually have my smaller popsicle sticks. Um, so I'm going to break this in half and this is gonna be used for the, this right here is a mixture of naphthol red, um, Prussian blue and um, I think it's Theo violet and a little bit of white uh, mixed inside of here so yeah I think those are the colors inside of here and then this color right here is just the fluorescent pink and then right here I have just plain Theo violet or process magenta it's either process magenta or Theo violet so first what I'm going to do is I believe I am going to uh, take this 
and I'm going to start at the bottom. And I am just going to make a circle like this. And I'm going to add some of this blue color in there. Maybe I should have added this on the outside, but we'll see how this turns out. We're gonna work together to be able to do this. And then, where's my other? I think I need another popsicle stick. So I'm going to take this popsicle stick and break it and then have this mixed up and put that around the outside. And I kind of scraped my canvas. So let me put that right back there. And then I have my spoon right here. This is just a regular plastic spoon. And again, you guys, we're gonna see how this tests, how this goes. If this does not work out, we will be using our balloon. So here we go. Now this video may be a little bit longer than my other videos because remember I am testing this out. And every time I swipe this, I'm going to wipe my spoon. So on this part, you guys, you're gonna see me attempt to turn this into a flower. And I continue to add on the paint to be able to get the flower effect but I was more so getting a starburst effect and that's not what I wanted so after attempting to continue to try this out I kept adding more paint which I shouldn't have so it doesn't really give off flower <laughs> like I wanted to so I'm gonna see if I can take my balloon and we're we're just gonna try out some different methods so I'm gonna layer my like blue purple then I'm gonna layer my fluorescent pink and then my either theo violet or my process magenta right here and again it's been a minute since I've done a balloon smash so a balloon dip and <laughs> this is how it looks and again you always have a paper towel around so you can wipe off the excess paint and sometimes you can carry it throughout to realize that the base of the paint that I had on here was really really thin and that caused a lot of problems for me but I continued to do trial and error so here we go. A little bit more paint. Let's see. Add the fluorescent pink. color and again this is a new um a new formula that I am trying out so maybe I need the bigger balloon <clears throat> which is fallen so let's see oh 
Okay, so I'm not liking how runny this is. And I did make this thicker, but I believe that the white that's on here is not as thick. So I believe that's probably why I'm having some issues here. But no worries. This is a, tri a trial and error. Oh, that one was pretty. That one was really pretty. <laughs> I don't like the end result of like after I double dip. And I'm gonna need some more paper towel. But that one turned out really pretty. Let's see. Oh, that is pretty. Look at that. Okay, I like how the balloon is turning out actually. Let's see. I love this. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yes, I'm gonna need some more paper towels. So let me grab some more paper towels. <laughs> and we're gonna continue with this venture. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some different effects with the smaller balloon. And I don't know, maybe I can wipe it on my shirt. Okay, so yes, I'm finding out that the white is a lot thinner or it's too much right there in one section. Oh, but that's pretty. So again, it's just a trial and error. And I'm not gonna go grab any paper towels. I'm just gonna wipe it on my apron because that's what it's for. And I put some more color on the canvas. I said, I think the white is just a little bit heavier and that is why I'm getting some issues or it's a lot more paint in the, um, uh, the base color. It, it needs to be thinner. That's what I'm discovering. But again, it's trial and error. So again, do not be afraid to test out your limits. <laughs> and sometimes there are no limits. So don't limit yourself. So I'm just gonna dip that and carry it throughout. And we're gonna just do some double dipping. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? There's <laughs> no telling how my, um, how this, um, my layout right here is gonna turn out. <laughs> Since I'm using it as a way to wipe this off. And sometimes you guys, since I have an extra canvas right here, sometimes you having around an extra canvas can actually be a good thing. So you can put the extra dips that you do with the balloon, if it does not turn out right or you wanna get rid of the paint, then you can use the other canvas to pick up some of that paint. Oh yeah, that's pretty. So we're just using the balloon as a means of putting some designs on here. And again, <laughs> I will show you guys this canvas at the end. It looks really, really pretty, <laughs> surprisingly. So I'm just gonna continue to, yeah, I think the, it's too much 
of the white. Oh, but those colors together are really, really pretty on this, um, <laughs> on this canvas right here. Those colors are really pretty. So I'm gonna continue to keep on adding. And then after I'm done, take you guys in for the close up and we will keep exploring with the different consistencies. And next time when I do this to make sure that the paint, the base paint is um, an even layer. So maybe I will take <laughs> okay, yeah, I see that's the part there. Ooh, look at that. Look at how pretty that is <laughs> on the balloon. Oh, yeah, I would need like multiple canvases right here and look again <laughs> that's really pretty now for this I might need some paper towels but for the smaller balloon I don't need paper towels so I'm just going to carry that on there and hopefully get some different kiss marks from the balloon. Oh, that's pretty too. Okay. So yes, again, finding out that either this, this um, base paint needs to be spread out more, And this is on this canvas. This is, <laughs> this is really pretty. Oh, this is still turning out really nice as well, you guys. Yeah, this, this is turning out really pretty too. So I'm just gonna keep on going to give you guys, <laughs> my area is like really, really messy. And it's like the more I dip, the more I can get this base paint to kind of level out. This canvas right here is pretty much done. <laughs> Too much white, way too much white. I still believe that once this dries, this canvas right here, this is gonna still be really, really pretty. On this part, you guys, I just continued to play around with it until I got what I wanted on the smaller canvas. And that was pretty much it. <laughs> we have tested this out. This canvas, it still has a lot more work to be able to do, but I absolutely love it. I love the color combination that I used. We used the, at first we used the spoon 
but I found that the um, consistency of the base paint was way too thin. I needed it to be um, an equal base on there in order for me to successfully do my spoon and the, the creating the flower. So we switched it over. It turned into a balloon dip. That is what we did. This canvas is really, really pretty as well. If you guys can see this, I'm gonna bring you in for the close-up and then I'm gonna bring you for the close-up of the results of uh, taking the balloon and then smashing it on here as well. So I'm gonna take you guys in, come on in. And here it is. So this is the results of the balloon smash on here and we discovered that the white paint is a little bit too thin, but this still turned out really beautiful. To me, it kind of looks like some fairies uh, flying around in different places on here. So this one turned out really, really pretty on this 10 by 20 canvas, and then taking you guys over for this one right here. <laughs> we, um, took the balloon, smashed it on here, and then the remaining paint that was on the balloon, we took it over here on this eight by 10 canvas, and this is what was created. This is absolutely beautiful as well. Make sure you guys let me know what you think inside the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining me on another acrylic pouring adventure. Thank you guys so much. As I always say before I sign out, number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And number three, last but not least, no matter what it is in your world that you are personally facing, decide and turn your pain into paintings. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Also, if you stayed until the end of the video, I would like to ask you guys to please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video.